Retro Trek Ralph here with another Eagle Moss Star Trek Discovery official Starship collection Starship collection this time After the debacle of the Tardigrade Let's get on with doing some Starship So it's a Klingon one Okay, I'm not actually looking forward to this one Because I have no idea how to pronounce that And I haven't watched enough of the Discoveries well, I have watched all the Discoveries Including up to date of finally we see well I think next episode we see Spock or is it on the end of it? Yeah. Well, this is the is it Joch class? Quat class? I don't know. Go to the model in a second. Have that over there. Let's get on with the magazine. So lights off and let's get closer. So you have there the model of the ship Klingons. Is one of the factions, this was it 12, 13, 85 million different factions. That's what the class in the Klingons is nowadays. The different houses, what they're, they're, they're trying to flog off, and then eventually, I think at the beginning of the series two, spoilers again, by the way, is that they want to do a unified ship that all the Klingons would do. So they're going to get rid of all these and just have the D7, even though in Star Trek lore they've had different ships before which were all D-class ones and they all seem to do Klingon ship things hmm okay so back on here original operational in 23rd century the length is it's a thousand eleven hundred and eight point seven meters so it's over a kilometer long it's a big ass ship whoa that's like an alien face, two eyes, teeth, and a lot of snot coming out of its nose. Where is that on the ship? So, <laughs> okay, it might go up. When you, you, you put in the stand on, it might go up between here and here. That's an engine there. So it might hold on here and here then, yeah. Okay, let's get round to that when we get the model out. I still can't pronounce it. Ah, it's the front of the ship. What the hell? <laughs> this this is design on whoa. Why is that flat? And you've had so many ships with with over detail. There's a section there which is completely undetailed. Okay, well, well I'm, I'm intrigued more than anything. This is probably one of them ships that's a Marmite ship. I might either hate this or absolutely adore it. From the different angles, that's pointing away from you. I think I like it facing as it coming towards you, but it looks like two nacelles, which they are, opposite from a from a, a circular, kind of looking very much like a federation ship. Hmm. Okay, cokey. Um. Mm. It's just pictures so far. Righto. Hmm. You can see the, the design of the Klingon ship. You've got your bridge section, you've got this thin neck leading to the engineering bulk section on the back, and the two engines, which are also weapons pods as well. But there's a lot of gaps. It's like on here, it's like you've got these, you've built these, and let's just wire them all in. And it just gives you nothing. It's, it gives you points to aim at, to be honest. If you're a... Yeah, probably playing on Star Trek Online. If you could actually... Zoom, well, target in specific parts. You could probably blow all these like up without any problems, but I don't know, you know. I think I'm looking forward to seeing this ship, you know. Designing the class. Wow, was that meant to be an engine? Okay. You had several, several different types, Dickinson. Don't know who Mr. Dickinson is. John Dickinson. Okay. Former comic book inker turned concept artist. I mean, I, it's. I had a message on one of my um, Ships of the Line calendar ones from one of the actual artists who did one of the Ships of the Line. And it didn't dawn on me until way after the actual video went out. And, and he actually was being a little bit, oh, I'm not sure whether or not he's going to like mine or not. But yeah, I absolutely adore the, adore the ships of the line. Anything concept art like this, absolutely adore it. 
I could slay it, but who am I? That's all I can think. But it, it's one of these models that it's either... Yeah, it, it gets you thinking. And I like something that gets you thinking. Is that the actual, no, that's not the actual ship. Hmm. I like it. Not as much as the, um, the refit Constitution class, obviously. I'm a sucker for the um, for the Enterprise. What the hell is all this behind? Experiment with different colours to try to establish a sense of Klingon design. Yeah, I think it's all a redesign of the Klingons is the problem. Pure Trekkies like me who like the original series, like the next gen, like the DS9, like the, the Voyager, even like Enterprise. I like all of Star Trek differently. I kind of grew up with the original series, loved the next generation, hated the next generation, loved it, it, but it's a hard one to take that you're gonna rewrite Trek history for me, but you can't have the old fashioned Starships, they look too dated. It's like the Enterprise when it first came in. That's coming in another two episodes, uh, two issues for this sort of scale. The Enterprise came in at the end of series season one on Discovery, and you thought, what the, f what the actual F is that? And there's so much different between it because it's meant to be. We're not meant to see what it is. It's the barrels themselves with the antennas pointing at the front, the bigger bridge, the bigger dish, just looking grey and. It didn't look like it, it should have done. But we've got to think that you can't use ships like that because they were basically made as the, as the designers thought back then. They never thought of putting little tiny panels like this, like a... Ugh, it's, it's amazing how the design work is. I mean, you'd have had something like this. For, if this had been the original Enterprise example. These are broke off all the time in production if they'd use it more often than, than not. The whole ship is not balanced. It's odd. It's unsymmetrical. It's although it is looks like it is, but it's it's unique and it's it's evolving evolution of Star Trek. But a pre-evolve for a pure Trekkie like me is hard to take. You got to understand it's really hard to take. But I do like it. I do do like it completely. And keep keep on doing it. Keep shocking. That's what I can think it is. Shockers. There's people out there we should doing videos. Oh, oh, they haven't done this. Oh, oh, they're doing that wrong. Fine. Fine. We'll find out at the end of the Discovery that if there's seven series, if there's 25 series, that Discovery was disappeared down or whatever, and then it'll just erode its own history. whoop de doo I don't know. Something will happen with Discovery. But then again, they did have... Oh, what did they have now? It was Enterprise, the NX-01 class Enterprise. Why was that not in the original series, Next Gen, DS9, Voyager? But it was in Into Darkness. It was one of those little ships on Admiral... Oh, don't give me his name, Marcus, on his desk. But... Surprised me, shocked me, I don't care. Give me more Trek. So there's the just like that one is the standard Klingon attack ship with this model. Next issue coming out soon, next month, is this Shran. Now I can pronounce that because I know who bloody Shran is. He's the um he's the Romulan, not a Romulan, Andorian, who was in in Enterprise. So it was um the character had been in absolutely everything. Coombs, Jeffrey Coombs. He's got a starship named after him, which I hope he's at. actually. It'd be nice if they had that, but actually had Jeffrey comes in the episode. We've actually seen it in there once or twice. There's always time travel wibbly wobbly things to come out with. But it wasn't a couple of episodes. It looked very odd. Big engines of the bike, not much of a warp. In the cell looks like it's been already been separated. But yeah, we'll get to that later. Teaser. We'll get the, let me get you in on here. Um, teaser for the for the future ones coming up. We have is that the Edison? I'm not quite sure. We got the Worker Bee. That's Harry Harry Mudd's family's ship. I forgot what you call it now. That's a Cleve ship because we've seen the um, 
when the uh, when they had the, the debacle with the Glen, somebody got one of those as the concept art, the first production one. We also, on this scale, we're having the Enterprise. You have to, we've had it in a couple of episodes anyway, so you've got to have that. There is the XL version now, and eventually, I'm not doing it straight away, I, I can't afford them. So I'm not going to buy the XL ships, I know some are amazing, some are absolute crap, but they will be reviewed and bought eventually, but not yet. So chill out, I'm not doing them as of yet. There are always possibilities, Spock said, and there's always possibilities that there'll be a sale on and I might buy them. So here's the class. Wow. Are you seeing that? Is that purple? Okay, this looks... Oh, I love polystyrene. Anybody who knows me knows I don't like polystyrene. Okay, right. Otherwise, Klingon, what? The Klach class, What's a, what the bloody hell is that? Why isn't this saying QOJ class? Mm hmm, 4751 A slash A. Don't know. Right, I'm going back to magazine because I don't know. <sighs> right. The fatter section is like that. This goes. Oh, that is a bad idea, that Ralph. <sighs> And the front bit go between. Does that hug on? Ooh, it hugs onto there. Okay, it hugs onto there. So that's your position of the stand. Don't like this at all. Upright and da da. See, didn't drop it this time. I know there's plenty more time for me to go, but didn't drop it this time. So I'm not going to keep that on there because I'm going to drop it. I know I am. Right, let's get closer up. Um, da 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 da. No, wider out. Front first. Okay, there we go. There's not much detail on this front. There we go. There's two eyes. It's like a. It's like the alien off of um, off of the fly, the Jack Goldblum film. Because there's a purple and there's greys and there's... Actually, this is showing green more than anything. There you go, that's what I see. That's better. Reminds me of a palette from... Babylon 5? Anybody else seeing that? It's, it's kind of purple. Hmm, very... They've done a lot of detail on here. It's not symmetrical as in that way, because only two there and then there's half a dozen that way around. So, bottom section, let's have a look. Going past. Choo choo! There's so many different colours in here, I like this. That looks, you know, that reminds me of there, Romulan. The Romulan uniforms. I know Worf had a a, Ber a Baldrick when he was on board for the first series which got that sort of pattern but that looks Romulan oh that might have just been a spoiler because we know that the Klingons and the Romulans had do get in league with each other oh look yeah. those bits there just go a little bit higher than the bridge barely a little bit higher that's kind of... Hmm. I thought, looking at some of the pictures, all this section here would be clear. But it's not. And these are bits here would be clear. I'll be able to light it through. Okay. You have a uh, very imposing... Coming towards you. Come in. No, nope, won't focus. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Happy smile. Hello. Mm. Big nose. Is that torpedo launch up front then? 
if I can get that out in focus. I don't know. Might be. Gap behind the bridge. That is crazy. Guess my Klingons have this really strange sort of long neck on the ships. Oh, let's look at his ass. Oh, excuse me. That is crazy. It's like a, I don't know. It's like the whole thing is wrapped. I don't think there might be the engines inside there. It's like everything's wrapped with all these bits here and just bulged out in the middle. That's crazy. I mean, I do like a um, a good-looking ship, but I absolutely adore a great paint job. I mean, these are probably just stuck over it anyway. I think each one of them has to be uniform with each other. But, hmm. That's very different. Me likey. Me likey a lot. I think I can't stop looking at it. I think that's the weird thing about this. It's oh no, 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 the Klingon ship, and this is what annoys me a little bit. You've only got Federation, a Vulcan, and I think this is a second one. But this is only number ten, second Klingon ship, and I am a Federation ish, 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 whatever. Uh oh. Oh no, that's okay. Thought. Oh, they're actually not attached, are they? Or are they? Okay. Maybe they weren't meant to. Or maybe it's as bad as the uh, tardigrade and things just aren't stuck in place. Are these on? No. I'm going to leave it as, as is. They look like they should be where they are anyway, so let's not stick things up and cover things in glue. I like it. There's this ring around here. Why the hell is there a ring around there? I thought it looked like that might have been a saucer section of a ship, so it would go that way. Here we go. We've got to fly into it and hold it on from the back. Well, with a bridge, bridge up here, maybe. But it's not, though. It's just two strange rings. Maybe part of a Klingon warp drive? I don't know. Because we had one, Federation, the ring ship, the Enterprise, but I honestly can't put this down. That's the first one of the ships that I've ever had that I could, that I've had that with. Can't stop looking at it. Why oh, there's this weird cat head, cat skull on the front, the huge nose on the on the front bit. That's just absolutely crazy. Right, my video's going on too long. Put it down. Can't. I literally can't. Yeah, this is the first. I don't love it. I just can't put it down. So that's all, that can only be a massive compliment to the designer. Really? Massive thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to just carry on over here and just not bother. You know, I'm, I just can't get over it. It's just weird. I just, I just, I, I, I hmm. Can it land? Run away quickly. Hey, down actually. These bits under here, they make it land rather flat. Oh, it says that. Yeah, okay. Please like and subscribe. Consider whatever and, and yeah, I've got links for and hmm. Kitty Ooh. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. No. Yeah, those look good, I like that. Actually, didn't the Klingons have that as a yeah, because they did have a the Baldrick for the original series. They're definitely going back to it. They're trying to go back to it, which is good. 
Yeah. Yeah, shoot it, Ralph. Bye for now. 